Now let's talk about categorizing content items in Orchard, specifically about taxonomies. Taxonomies is its own feature, so even though it's a built-in feature, uh, just as anything else in Orchard, it is in its own module, because Orchard internally is very well modularized. And as you can see, uh, taxonomies is a feature that depends on a lot of other features actually, uh, of course, it depends on the various content management features too. In the blog recipe, taxonomies, taxonomies by default is enabled, so nothing else to do. And um, under our blog post, we have seen how it actually works, because if we check it out, we have seen tags and travel. So we can, tags are, well, just like you would ex expect tags to work, uh, it has also complete, but you can also add a tag right away. Uh, with, uh, with this category taxonomy here, um, it's a bit more complicated because, well, you have to specify the categories in advance. So uh, let's actually see how that works. And let's check out uh, how this looks like from the blog post and we will, we will take it from there. So uh, under blog post, we have two fields, two taxonomy fields for tax and category. Now let's check out tax first. Uh, tax is act uh, actually uh, related to a taxonomy called tax. Now uh, what does this mean? Uh, there are a couple of concepts to understand uh, related to taxonomies, but don't worry because all of this builds on the same content management concept that we have seen. Well, first of all, you have to have a taxonomy. A taxonomy will be the container of taxonomy terms. And how you can create a taxonomy is, well, here. Just create new taxonomy. But the taxonomy tags already exist, so we can just check it out. And you see that, well, we have a pretty standard content item here, and we also have the terms listed under here. So again, a taxonomy is a container of terms. And the taxonomy is a content item too. And the terms are also content items. So if we go to content definition again, to the content types and search for tag, we see that tags are content items too, and there is a corresponding content type called tag. And uh, well, it's nothing, nothing too complex actually. Um, it's a title and also out part and that's it. And all of these tag content items are listed under the tags taxonomy here. And you can actually edit them as content items too. So you see, uh, we get the standard uh, content item editor with title and permalink. And you see, again, we are reusing the same title tag, the same author, the same title part, and the same author out part. The same building blocks are used in a variety of places, which makes this thing very efficient. So, this taxonomy field, we are now back under blog post, is, at, is connected to the text taxonomy which tax taxonomy contains tag taxonomy terms. And everything here is just content item. And you can see that uh, we have a couple of uh, uh, configuration options uh, for a taxonomy field here. Well, the most important for a tag-like taxonomy field is that it's open. So if you type in something that doesn't yet exist, then it will be created right away. Uh, in contrast to that, the category taxonomy field is not open, and actually uh, you can only select the leaves in the taxonomy, and there should be one category selected. And again, uh, this is, these are still content items as usual. So the corresponding taxonomy is categories, so if we go back to the content items list and select categories here, we see all the terms, well, 
just a single one right now, but we see all the terms in this taxonomy. So we can also add a new term here, like this can be uh, sports. If we can select an icon, but this is not mandatory and this is not anything special. Uh, this is a feature of this content type. Simply because the category content type contains a fields or a content part or something that adds this icon functionality. And well, uh, probably there is something related to sports or not sports, but football. And well, for our American friends out there, this is the football one. This is, I, I'm not sure, this is American football, let's call it like that, all right? So uh, let's select the football one. That's an interesting football and let's publish it. Now we have travel and sports here. And if we also publish the taxonomy itself, then once we go back to our blog post, we should be able to change the corresponding category. And that's indeed the case. And remember that it's possible to configure that you can only, only select leaves in the taxonomy. Now, leaves here are, are a terminology from, from uh, graph theory. Uh, we are talking about a tree of taxonomy terms where you can only select the, the bottom most uh, terms because taxonomy terms can also be hierarchical. So uh, I could add a new category and call it, well, uh, let's call it sailing. So we don't have just football. And probably we have something related to uh, sailing here, or at least a ship. Well, it's not a sailing ship, so let's call it a boat. Anyway, uh, we are sailing with a motorboat apparently. And now that we have added sailing, we can drag it under sports like this. And once I publish it and go back to the blog post, you will see that we can't select sports anymore because the taxonomy field is configured to allow leaves only. So now we can go uh, change it only to sailing. So uh, that's about categorization, of course, uh, things get a bit more complicated if you want to dive uh, deeper into it. Uh, for example, uh, on the front end, of course, this is also reflected. So if, if you remember in the very beginning, we have seen that uh, we have these various labels here. Well, there is the travel taxonomy, and as you can see, um, it has its own permalink, as we expect. And tags have their own permalinks as well. So although we, ha we just have a single blog post in the system, there's not much to list, but all of these would list the corresponding content items. And we are talking about blog post currently, but again, this is all flexible. This is just the default provided by the blog recipe. So you can freely create your own content types, which we'll do from code a bit later. You can freely co create your own content types uh, even if not from code, but you can also create it, oops, uh, you can also create it from here, from the admin UI, and you can uh, add taxonomies uh, to your own content types too. You can create new taxonomies. You can configure them however you wish. So take all of this as a baseline, as a starting point, but there is a lot, lot more to it.